Hey everyone, Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. Today I just want to run through how you can project out a cumulative run rate. Now this this actually stemmed from a, a really interesting question from the Enterprise DNA uh, support forum. So someone had a um, one of the one of the Enterprise DNA members had an exact requirement where uh, they wanted to calculate how much they had um, or how well they had done so far this year. And then they wanted to project that out for the rest of the year and then see how they actually did versus that uh, projection of uh, an accumulative total. So there's a little bit to it, but it's a really, really cool technique. Now, the tricky thing is, is that, uh, I, and I've set it all up here so I can just run, all, run, run through it, but the tricky thing is, is that you have your cumulative sales right, but you need to basically create a brand new cumulative total based on amounts that are determined by how you're actually going. So there's actually quite a few steps you need to run through uh, and ways you need to combine DAX formulas to actually achieve that. Now, the first thing to, we need to calculate is we obviously want to calculate the cumulative total, right? So I've, I've covered this a few times, but um, check out how I've I've set up the formula in, in this particular case. Uh, what I have done is I've, I've placed the cumulative total in this case actually in a variable so it's the same sort of pattern if you like um, but I placed it inside a variable because I wanted to simplify the actual end formula because what happens if you don't uh, place this logic in the cumulative total will actually continue to project forward uh, and it and it will, will will like draw this draw it so if we look at the visualization it would draw a line all the way down the bottom based on what the final number was and so uh, to get rid of that, you want to go is blank total sales. So if the sales, if there is no sales post that day, then make it blank, and if not, make it the cumulative total. So that's what I've done for that setup there. Now, okay, so how do we calculate or project a run rate? Well, first of all, we need to work out the run rate. If you think about it, right? Now, let's think logically about how you do this. Well, if you think logically about calculating a run rate, well, you would. You would count up how the total sales that you have made in 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 the particular year, so that the actual grand total, and then you want to divide it by how many days you've actually sold, right? And then that's going to give you your average daily sale amount. And what I've called it here is the average daily run rate, and you see here that um, it's twenty nine thousand one hundred eighty six. This is purely determined by one seventy five divided by six, because you see here we've sold for six days in twenty eighteen. This data is a little bit old. But this would automatically, the way I've set it up is that this would automatically update every time you had um, more days of sales. It would automatically update your average daily run rate and then the projection would change. So um, so there's, a, there's obviously, depending on the exact requirement, um, there would be a few things you'd need to uh, you'd need to adjust here. But this is certainly just the, I'm, I'm talking about the idea here, how, how you can actually implement something like this. Um, so it's, it's a good way, it's a good overview of, of um, you know, analytically how to think about this stuff. Now, what I've done here for average daily run rate, I've basically done what I just mentioned, right? I, ca I wanted to calculate the cumulative total and then divide it by the days with sales. So that's the simplified version of it down there. But we have to do a little bit of adjustment here in the variables to actually get this to work because think about the context here. The context is at a daily level here, basically. But what we're trying to do is for every single day, grab this number here, this 175, and then divide it by how many days we've had sales. So here, I'm gonna work out the days with sales, and basically, I'm counting up the, um, I'm, I'm trying to count up how many um, days we have made a sale. And I've used filter in this particular case, to to do that so i've gone filter all selected dates which has released all of the um, context from dates in any particular row here but then i've added it back where i've said okay well i want to i want to evaluate well if there was a sale on a day which was greater than zero then i want to actually retain that particular date and then that's going to leave us with six dates in this case and then we're just going to be counting up six and in this case, cumulative sales, well, in every single row here, we need to calculate the 175, um, no matter what, what day we're in. So by going all selected dates, that's release, that releases the date context at every single row, and then 175 sits on every single row here. And then for every single row, we've got 175 divided by six in this case. Right, so now we've got the average daily run rate 
then we can then project forward the cumulative run rate, right? Because we all we need to do is calculate up a cumulative total of this particular value. And let's have a look at that particular formula. So slight adjustment here to what is inside calculate. It's not as simple of, uh, as just adding average daily run rate in this case. What we need to do is we need to put it inside a sum x so that we iterate through every single day. So we iterate through uh, every single day in this case and what I've done is I've set up a virtual table with summarize here, virtual table with all of the um, dates, right? But what happens with this particular virtual table is say for instance, I'll just uh, sort this out, say for instance we get to um, say the first date here, 20, uh, so first of the first 2018. What this summarize does is it actually only evaluates to one row, right? It only evaluates to the first of the first 2018. And so it is going to calculate 29,186 as it, as it does around this rounded up here. Then when we get to uh, the second row, it's again evaluating to only the second of the first. So it's saying, okay, calculate up the run rate which is, um, you'll see here, run rate is basically just the average daily run rate. And then the filter all selected, the cumulative total pattern, is then opening up the two days. So it's not, it's, it's calculating 29,186, but also calculating up the day before. And as we move down this particular table, it continues to do that. It continues to calculate the cumulative total, but instead it's actually running an iteration inside of Calculate. I've, I've gone through this pattern before actually with, with budgets. So when you actually run cumulative totals and budgets, it's not as it's not actually not that simple. You need to actually utilize this sort of pattern to actually make it make it work. But then as you can see, you'll see here now that we have this cumulative run rate, so this cumulative total out here, which is purely determined by the actual cumulative total sales that we have at this point in time. Now one thing that pops into mind is that if you did leave it like this, then as cumulative, as your sales actually adjust, as they change, this number is actually going to change as well because it's all, all dynamic. So say for instance you wanted to say set this number, then you probably would want to somehow uh, put this into like a calculated table or uh, or into into a, um, yeah, into, into a table and set it. Um, uh, at a particular time, uh, you might want to say export this. You might want to export this um, data. You might want to export it and put it into an Excel spreadsheet. And in that way, it's going to make it non-dynamic, right? Um, so, just um, you know, things to consider there. Certainly, something to consider. Um, but really, a really powerful way that you can utilize or use use the results you're actually seeing, and then um, and then morph them into. Uh, a benchmark or, 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 or a forecast that you um, want to uh, identify trends against. So <clears throat> this, this solved the, uh, the, uh, the Enterprise DNA members um, uh, scenario, so I was really, really hope, uh, stoked with that. And, and hopefully you can see that's a, you know, it's a, just a really cool technique about how you can you know, utilize many different DAX functions to, um, to create projections, to create uh, forecasts, etc., without having to hard code numbers or anything like that. Um, or, or, you know. So I, I love this type of stuff, love it. I think it's really, really powerful how it's all you know, really, really dynamic. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, uh, certainly throw the video a like. Really appreciate it, as always. And uh, certainly don't forget to subscribe also to Enterprise DNA TV. Plenty of content coming out, um, lots of uh, tutorials, events, etc. So really want to uh, get those out to you when, when I can. Okay, all the very best and talk to you soon.